When did you feel or know that you were really going to stick with BJJ as a um, as an art that you were going to practice and as a career? Mm, as an art that I want to practice, if I can say the first time I have contact with it. I, I fell in love the first time. So I knew that I would be doing this for for not a little while, but for the rest of my life, because it's great, you know. Uh, Career-wise, to take a career of jiu-jitsu, uh, I still remember the day. Uh, it was in uh, Los Angeles, actually. I competed in the first Pan American Championships as a black belt. It was the first international competition ever in jiu-jitsu. It was a big, big deal, and it was great. I won, you know. I was really happy, and, and I was ha having, like, a, I was actually heading to the Six Flags Park. And I was riding with uh, Master Carlos Gracie Jr. and his wife by the time, uh, Adriana. And uh, it was kind of like a one hour and a half, two hour drive. And it talked a lot about that, you know. And uh, Master Carlos actually was, had an essential role in that. He said, you know, Jacqueline, you know, I think you have something special in Jiu-Jitsu. Not just your skills, but I mean, I think you can be really successful and pursue a career. And I mean, I think you have a bright future and all that. So he gave me the confidence enough to, you know, to choose between the law degree that I had by the time and uh, and leave, you know, on the jiu-jitsu lifestyle, teaching jiu-jitsu, you know, it was a hard decision, but, uh, but uh, I'm glad that I made it, you know, so it was that day.